Hello, hello and welcome, welcome one and all, welcome one and all. Scott C here, we're going to be taking you through a wonderful new game called War Thunder, which is currently in beta. Uh, it's basically for all of you World of Tanks fans, it's World of Tanks in the Sky. Uh, I know Wargaming.net is going to be making World of War planes, but it looks like these guys have beaten to the punch and it's an absolutely outstanding game. We've got special guests with us today in the form of Mule. Oh no. Well, there's going to be my co-pilot today as we take you through the tutorial missions and then hopefully we'll end up in a battle at the end and you can all have a laugh at us as I suck in mm -hmm. what is basically your starter planes which are basically just flying drums really. Mm -hmm. um, decent wee planes here. Mm -hmm. This is the starter screen, this is what will come up after your initial splash screen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll stress that the game is actually in beta at the moment so odds are every time you log on there'll be a massive patch to download but it doesn't really take all that long. Uh, it's just the guys fixing all the tweaks and bugs and things that our people have found. Um, but it's well worth the wait because it's an absolutely stomping game. Um, I'm running this on uh, on a laptop with an ATI 5650 graphics card. Uh, I've still got the game set and set to high and as you can see it seems to be running it quite well. You've got my frame rates in the corner there, that tends to drop a while. Plus I'm also recording on the same thing. So if you've got a beefy uh, game rig you should kick the arse off this one. Um, so, where are we now? Where are we now, Willie? We're at the start screen. Yep. What are we looking at? Well, at the start screen, you're just looking at your base level planes that everyone gets. You get free for every race, roundabout. Uh, I've currently gone down the German road of it. I think Scotty's possibly going to go down the British route. RAF all the way. RAF route, RAF route RAF yeah. All the way. He's been a patriot with this one. Oh, yes. Just as we go through the tutorials, I'll just explain a bit more about the planes and what have you and give you some information if you like. <laughs> so yeah, that's great. Um, you can see we've got the five races here. We've got the the US, we've got the uh, the German, and we've got the Soviet Air Force, RAF, British, and we've got the Japanese. And uh, that's what we've got at the moment. You might also notice the keen eyed amongst us. We've got another three tabs or another two tabs at the bottom here, which is Army. If I click on it now, it's not available yet. Mm -hmm. And you've also got Fleet. Which is also still not available yet, but that just that's just tantalising. You know, yeah, think there, very tantalising. Kind of weird, kind of I weird. think it should end up being a proper Ooh. combined arms battle royal at some point in the future. Oh, and when it does come be, into that, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be should, amazing. Like I say, it should kick the arse off anything that World of Tanks has done so far. I should hope. Well, that's if these boys get their finger out. Like, cause oh, it's yeah. taking World of Tanks a while to get World of Warplanes out, and they have actually promised uh, World of Battleships as well. Mm. Um, so. Yeah, so hopefully, well, I mean, like I say, World of Tanks is still a great game. Yeah. Uh, I'll still be playing that and probably bring more videos of that in the future mm -hmm. as well. So, like I say, start screen. You might spot the the big red to battle uh, button in the middle there. That's well, that'll be for later on. Uh, like I say, I'm going to take you through the tutorials first and just discuss what's happening in them. Yeah. On the top right hand corner is basically all your information. You've got your profile there. Mm -hmm. um, just quick look through all the medals and challenges and achievements that you've done yeah uh, all the things that you've unlocked uh, basically where you're standing I've already played a few games with uh, the British mm -hmm. uh, crap planes so I should get us off the ground nicely yep underneath that your currency in the game or your free currency is silver lions this is what you earn during mm -hmm. uh, doing all sorts of different missions uh, there is different kinds of missions that we'll be playing through we'll bring you more on that later as mm -hmm. we get the grips of the game ourselves, we're basic novices ourselves. Um, you've got your Golden Eagles, which is your premium currency, that's the money yeah. you actually paid your hard earned dosh for. Yeah. Medals, which is what you earned during the game, and number of aircrafts that you've got in your hangar. Uh, mm -hmm. I do believe you've got a limitation of four in each for each race at the moment, is that right? Yeah, that's, that's to start with. I think you can get maybe up to five or six. Like I say, in every battle you fight, you get a chance to fly all of your aircraft and if you get shot down you just jump in a new one start again so it, it gives a bit more longev longevity to the missions you're playing you're not just sitting there watching everyone else waiting for your planes to come out as soon as you're finished as soon as all your planes are shot down all the battles won you can just flash straight into a new one there's no there's no delay no lag in that you just can play it and play it and play again before the last mission's even finished right. so it does add add a nice dynamic to it where it's nice and quick just to keep on playing so yeah, that's, that's that's one of the good ones. Mm -hmm. uh, only you've got your social tabs there, your messages, uh, your chat, and your friends online there. And there's me. Yay! Say hello to me. Mm -hmm. um, research. That's basically where you unlock all your new planes for all your different yep. races. Mm -hmm. uh, nice and simple. Like I say, for those of you that played World of Tanks before, you'll be more than comfortable with these. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, there's all your trees. 
Uh, I don't know if the guys are adding more planes to this later on, no doubt, but there's your premium planes on the right hand side there. Mm -hmm. Feel free to purchase a bunch of them if you do so wish, which you can actually do because on the beta you, you actually start with 250 golden mm -hmm. eagles, which is very nice, and I do believe you actually get. Well, you don't start with the golden eagles, you've got to do the tutorials, so I'd recommend everyone do the first three tutorials because they're um, worth the 250 yeah, gold. See, every day is a school day. Yeah. Bottom left, mm -hmm. uh, you've got your automatic repair plane and your automatic reload. Yep. And uh, that's basically this screen for you. Uh, you've got your menus there for your graphics controls and everything. So, without further ado, without us banging on, let's get us down to the tutorials and get started in that one. Like I say, you can see by the stars there that I've already done a few of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done the basic one. The advanced ones, I haven't done the aerial combat and landing, or the carrier takeoff and torpedoing and dive bombing and carrier landing. You can have a laugh at us doing them later on. Mm -hmm. So, start with the very basics. Let's fly a fighter plane. And we're flying today the Yak 9T. So, let's get this loaded up. Right. And this is your load screen, gives you some nice information on there. Flying the Yak 9T with the machine gun and one cannon. The wind is southeast, 15 knots, glad, <laughs> cumulus 4, visibility unlimited. Unlimited. Yeah. Like <laughs> like the radio 4, ship and forecast yep. there. <laughs> Well, so, fair to middling. <laughs> Outlook poor. Um, right, so here we are, and very kindly pauses here as it's giving you instructions, which mm -hmm. prevents your plane from flying into the ground, which is uh, handy. So, as you can see there, you can control the plane's direction with the elevator L, elevons and rudder. Press any key to continue. Before we start that, it's worth noting that when you first start the game, it starts wanting options from you straight away to try and define what kind of player you are and mm -hmm. how you're going to play the game. Mm -hmm. There is options if for you guys who have uh, joysticks and throttle controls. There is options for them, which will be, which I can imagine, be really cool. But um, I'm stuck with keyboard and mouse at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, there is actually options for control pad as well if you want to get the Xbox 360 control pad plugged in. There's uh, options for them as well. But I'm sticking with keyboard and mouse for the time being, and it does take a while to get uh, get used to the controls. If you double click on any of the planes, it brings up the option for you to have a test flight in any of them. So without further ado, we'll get stuck into this, press indicate to continue, and here we go. If you're in mouse aim mode, you can simply point the cursor at the place where you want to fly to, press indicate to continue. Nice yeah, and simple. Simple as that. So there we are, big yellow thing. Remember yeah. pilot wings for the snares? A lot like that. Here yeah. we go. It's point and you've got it. And we're flying through this. Mm -hmm. The moment he's in a Yak like I say a Yak 9T, it was a Soviet single era. A Soviet single engine fighter. It was the first combat designed by Yakolev, Yakolev. who, in fact, it designed stuff all the way up to all the way up to present day. I think you still get Yak fighters, but still designed now, still made now. A total of sixteen thousand built, sixteen thousand and a half built, so they were quite more numerous than some of them. Well, quite knowledgeable. Um, aren't well, they? Quite try my best. I'll try my best. Made of aluminium, nice and light, long range on it. Nice. And also modified for the ground attack role, so we'll be doing some of that later as well. We will be. The tutorial. Right, okay, you can adjust your throttle levels to decrease or increase the plane speed. Press indicate to continue, which would be nice. Press control to decrease the throttle to 30. Mm -hmm. that, that, that decreases the throttle quite quickly on that, it yeah. flies down quite quick. And shift will increase it. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm back there. You might just notice the number went red there. Okay. And basically, what that does is that's just overpowering your yeah. engine. So it gives you a bit more. Uh, Give you a bit of afterburner, I think they call it. Yeah, there will be a bit burner. detrimental effects, but uh, we'll cover that later. Mm -hmm. uh, each mission has its own goals and objectives, must be completed in order to win. Press any key to continue. You can see a tasty barrage below in the distance there. Mm -hmm. We'll be kicking the arse off that in a sec. Right. You can see the list of completed, failed, and current objectives in the tactical map window. Now, what button do you think the map is going to be? Let's have a guess. <gasps> it's M. Weird. <laughs> There's your tactical map. Flying over Stalingrad there. Uh, there's your primary goals with the little stars. Yep. Uh, obviously the hollow stars. Oh, we're going to shoot right. something now. Okay, so destroying the mobile target, you need to aim and shoot at it. Can you lock Press on on this one? No. So there we are. Firing, Firing a lovely there. cannon. Give it some. Give it some. There, there we go. go. And that's that destroyed. That that would have been embarrassing if we. Yeah, it would miss and hit it. Yeah. Right, so mobile targets gives you the middle mouse button. 
by clicking on the middle mouse button you're actually locking onto the target mm. uh, you can actually scroll the middle mouse button up and down to control your throttle as well it gives you a bit more fine aim on your throttle mm -hmm. uh, so let's get on with this one right. Right, your so target. Your target. right you'll notice the reticule in front of it that's what we're aiming at that's basically give you a handy hint for leaving your target so if you keep it in that there you go and change target again middle mouse button and dead Good. Fly through the wreckage like an action hero. Of course. <laughs> you, you've got to, oh, you've got to look for the pilot to be a out as well. Get him. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Missed him. None of that Geneva Convention yet. No, none of that. So, yeah, that was a basic control. Nice one. Like I say, you'd have got your, uh, your gold, uh, golden eagles by doing that, but I've done it previously. So, yeah. So, we'll move on to the next one then. Right, next one's the assault plane. That'll be its ground attack. So we'll load this one up and see what we've got here today. We've got the aircraft, the IL-2, or the IL-2. I you call it IL-2, mate. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I like IL, right? <laughs> eh? Do you know I have to call a yak the Y E K? Eh? No. Well, call it what you want. <laughs> I suppose the answer is to anything. Well, just to explain a bit, this is the most, it's really the signature plane of the Red Air Force during the war. It's the IL-2, also known as the Sturmavik. This whole sounds game is good. actually based on it, to be honest. Sounds good, sounds a bit aggressive. I like the sound of it. Uh, it's sounds good. Yeah, it's a very German that name. Oh yeah, fully armored against against anti-aircraft fire. It was, they used to call it the flying tank. Cited even by Stalin himself, saying it was the reason, the, one of the reasons the war was won in Russia. But the, well, like I say, it's nice, nice and heavily armed. So yeah, rocket firing as well. I think we should oh, see we'll some rockets. rockets. On this one. Yeah, we should see some rockets, rockets on this one. So yeah. So we'll crack on with this in. Assault planes are designed to assist ground troops. Often they are armed with light bombs, unguided rockets and cannons for destroying surface targets. Now you might be thinking to yourself, I'm in an aerial game, why do I need to destroy ground targets? Well, you actually get plenty of experience by actually trying, uh, in, often in vain in my case, mm -hmm. uh, to destroy the ground targets which are actually part of the missions. You get convoys of tanks that you need to blow, mm -hmm. um, anti-aircraft batteries, artillery batteries. Uh, they all give you experience uh, throughout the game when you destroy them. And no doubt, once they link in the actual uh, Navy and Army side of things, you'll actually be getting more experience for destroying actual players as well, which would be which would be very nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, well let's go on with this one. Press any key to continue. So what we're we doing now? Again, back to pilot wings. Mm -hmm. Press proceed to the waypoint. Press any key to continue. Right, we know what we're doing now. We've done this before. Maybe we sell some thrust. There we go. Get some speed on the go. Now what we're we doing? Yay. Destroy the find and destroy the truck. Right. Can we see it anywhere? Uh, we can't see it yet. Targets that must be eliminated are often located outside your field of view. You can find them on the tactical map. Remember what that one is? That's the yeah, M. That's right. It's Thomas there. Right. So there it is. Flight towards a red dot, no doubt. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Find and destroy the truck. Lock on. There's a little red dot there. Press the middle mouse button. Lock on. And we've got a vehicle. Underneath the plane there you'll see a reticule coming up there, a little cross in the circle there, that's for your bombing run. But we're not interested in that. What we're interested in will be your rockets, which will be coming online in the next part of the tutorial. Let's just try and find this. At least I hope so anyway, because we're going to watch whether it or not. Oh, it's the controls. <laughs> okay, ah, here we ah. go. I thought so. As I thought. Right. Spacebar! For the fighter and assault planes can carry bombs to drop while diving at ground targets. Press the drop bomb button when the bomb sight turns red. Okay, right. that then. And there you go. So that'll do us. Let's get a bomb away. Oh no, fluffed it. Right, I'll try that one again. Okay, what are we doing then? How are we doing this then? Come on, yeah. turn the red. Come on then, you monkey. Right. right. There you I'll go. That there. Oh, come on! Keep your hand on the button a bit. <laughs> right, okay. Drop. Oh, I'll drop Dropped one. it a bit premature there, like. I've got any more? I don't oh, know got, you... Sorry, I've got more. We've got more money. Give me some more. <laughs> We're packing the goods. Don't forget to stay away from the ground <laughs> after you drop the bomb. Absolutely yeah. sound advice. You'll learn that to your cost <laughs> at some point. <laughs> there Yay, we go. Yeah, I'm flying around. It's like quite a nice little plane, this one. It is. Actually. Lovely plane. Right, next bit. You notice that your plane carries unguided rockets. Press the rocket launch button to fire them. 
That's it. That's it. There we go. Hey. Relatively inaccurate, so I tend to give you lots of them, so you can yep. just do a complete flyby barrage of doom, which is uh, we'll stop doing nothing else. But you get lots of them, like you see. Drop some bombs as you go over them as well. That just finishes, brings the curtain down on it. Oh, I'm thinking bomb them ones. Oh! Yeah, that's the wrong button. Wrong button, wrong button. Right, oh sorry, yeah. V button obviously changes your views, so it'll actually go in the cockpit there. But I turned away, I prefer to play it. It's not particularly person. recommended because you can't see your thing. No, you can. <laughs> uh, you might want to turn and get that last one. Right, right. You must have to take oh, them out with the guns. What a survivor. What a survivor. Uh, right. Guns, guns, Yep. Unless you've got some bombs. Get a lot of more rockets on them. Right, well, uh, <laughs> they're a little bit short there. Yeah. Right. You've got a bomb or two to go as well. Alright, that's oh, it. Oh, that's it, mate. Woo! Choked that. Mission accomplished on that one. <laughs> so, yeah, and that was the end of that one. Like I say, you'd have earned even more gold, uh, gold needles for that. Yeah. Uh, like I say, I've done the previous, so I don't get anything for that one. Other than shits and needles. Yep. So, moving on to the next one. So, yeah, on to the next mission now, which is this tutorial course for the bomber. It's a nice shot, one this. And uh, what have we got? We've got the TU 2S. Two cannons, three uh, three turrets, three turrets, nice. Uh, 500 bombs. <laughs> yeah, it's a oh, nice. Sorry, 500 kilogram, you get two 500 kilogram bombs yeah. and one 1000 kilogram bomb. That's it's a nice heavy bomber, this one. So yeah, let's get stuck into this one then. So there you go. Wind conditions are wind southeast 15 knots, cloud cumulus 4, visibility unlimited. Sea conditions fair to middling. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can drag this bomber up. I still I've got no idea what the shipping forecast is on about, you know. No, no. But it's like a totally different language. Shipping people, you see, mate. Oh, right, right. <laughs> people who uh, take to the sea. You've got a bit of sea in your in, in your family. Well, you? no. a little bit. Your granddad was in the merchant navy. He was. He was. Right, so here we are. Bombers can carry heavy bombs designed to deal large amounts of damage over a wide area. Press any key to continue. Now these, I can imagine being fun because you've got turret guns on this as well, so you can take out them pesky fighters that are coming in. Yeah. Uh, but they are relatively slow moving, like any bombers, so you do need fight to, uh, fight to cover. So if you guys are doing, mm -hmm. you've got a decent team and your fighters are covering you, uh, sky's the limit, basically. So, right, press any key to continue. Let's see what we're doing today. Keep yourself safe from A, A, A. Fire and hostile, hostile fighters, bombers fly at high altitudes. Press any key to continue. At the moment we're firing about 3,800 feet. That's about the level the bombers fly at, like I say. That's a fair point, Molly. We haven't brought attention to the top left-hand side of the screen. Shows your throttle, shows your current speed, your altitude, and uh, whatever... Uh, load, your load out. Italian, really, yeah. like the load out, really. So, it's much simpler to hit the target using a bomb site. Press any key to continue. Hopefully it's going to show us how to do that. So, V... Is you toggle between different sites? You've seen that on the last yeah. tutorial when I pressed the wrong bloody button when I was trying to drop bombs. Right. Um, so let's do that. So that, there you go. That's your rear gunner. Shoot a bit, mate. Oh, oh it's not just... letting us shoot yet. Oh, well, oh, never mind. It's supposed to fun. F7, bomb right. site F7, view. F7, there's the bomb site view. So we, we, we'll get nice and close to these, uh, which I believe is a crowd base. Yep. And uh, timing, timing, right. And let's drop the bombs. Fire the space there. Can you hear? Yeah. Just hear them whistling away. Whistling there. down. And there you go. There's Fritz sitting there <laughs> on his arse, drinking his schnapps, thinking yep. that he's won the war. But uh, he doesn't realise that old Scotty Mar and Mullity is in there right. today. Ivan's coming and knocking. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Let's see them drop. And oh, what's happening now? <gasps> Bam. Hey. <laughs> That's the airfield destroyed. Nice, eh? I right, take that. Take that, you Nazi socialist scumbag. Down with you. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for all right Natties on this game. Right. We hit guys. right now, the balloon's gone up, they know that we're here now, so what we do now is we switch into turret mode. Give him some. Get some! Get some! Again, it's quite a, very kindly. Uh, pierces out your target there. Yep. Oh, there he is. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> and there, uh, that was it. Be all end all. That's your bombing tutorial. Nice, yep. eh? So I think we're going to move on to the advanced tutorials. I've started the first one, which is uh, a, a takeoff, which I don't. All right, actually. So mm -hmm. move on to that again. Like I say, you've got your gold for that, but I've already done it. So a takeoff, basic flight controls. Hmm. 